Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 147, and our objective is today I will mentally add 10 or 100 to a given three digit number. So this is what we started yesterday. We're going to continue it today. Today I will add 10 or 100 to a given three digit number. So let's quickly look at our vocabulary. Remember they remind us what decompose is to take apart a number and separate the ones, tens, and hundreds. So this is what we did yesterday is we drew them using these base 10 blocks. They remind us that our add-ins are what we're adding together. So two plus three, those would be our add-ins. And then our answer or our result or solution is called our sum. Okay, our steps tell us that we're going to make the given number on a place value chart. Okay, we're gonna use base 10 blocks to draw it. Now remember when we draw, we don't use the same base 10 blocks they use because those would be very challenging to draw. So we draw a square for 100, we draw a vertical line for, ten, for our base 10 rod, and then we draw a dot for our one unit. Okay, so after we make our chart and draw it, then we're going to either add 110 rod or 100 square, whatever the question's asking us. We're going to add that and then find our, write our sum. So I'm gonna jump in and just get started right away on my problem. Okay, here is my first problem. It says, what is 10 more than 342? What is 10 more than 342? Okay, they definitely aren't giving us a lot of room to work here, friends, so we're just gonna have to do our very best. Well, what do I know about 342? I'm gonna write my place values. I know in 342 that I have two ones. I might have to squish this. I have two ones, which equals two. That's my ones, I could say. I know that I have four tens. One, two, three, four. But my tens don't equal 10. I'm sorry, don't equal four because they're each worth 10, so I have to count by 10. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40. And then I know I have three hundreds. So I have one, two, three hundreds. Okay, and three hundreds equal 100, 200, 300. So that is what 342 looks like in base 10 blocks. And I'm so sorry, I was so squished in the corner there, friends. 342 in base 10 blocks look like that. Okay, but what do they want me to do? They want me to say 10 more. What's one more 10? If I added another 10, I would add it to my 10 column. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 10 more would be 352, 352. So what place value changed? What place value changed here was my 10's place value changed. And what did I count on by? Well, I counted on by my 10's. So again, friends, I wish we had more room and I didn't squish it there, I apologize. Okay, let's look at my next one. It says, solve, draw a picture to defend your answer. 394 plus 100. Okay, so I have 394 and my first step says to build what I have. So how many ones do I have? I have four ones, one, two, three, four, which equals four. How many tens do I have? Nine tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. Okay, well, that's not worth nine though, because they're each worth 10. So I have 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then I have three hundreds, one, two, three. And that's worth 100, 200, 300. So this is what 394 looks like using base 10 blocks, 394. Okay, but the question says, what if I add another 100? What if I come over here and add another 100? I don't have 300 anymore. What would I now have? 100, 200, 300, 400. So what's my new answer? 494, let's, is 494. And what did I count on by? Hundreds, I added a hundred. That's the place value that changed. Okay, I'm gonna do one last one with you, for you. It says, what is 100 more than 517? Okay, so we have, I'm gonna kind of move this over a little bit. 517, that's my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. Okay, so let's try and draw this in our very squished area that they gave us. I have ones. How many ones do I have? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven ones is worth just seven. How many tens do I have? One. One ten. And how much is that worth? Just ten. And I have five hundreds. So in my hundreds I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. That is what 517 looks like. Okay, but my question says, what is 100 more? So they want us to add another 100. So let's come over here and add another 100. Well, what did it change to then? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So now I have 610 plus 7 is 617. Because I have six hundreds, one ten, and seven ones. So what place value changed this time? Well, this time I changed the hundreds. And I counted on by one hundred. Okay, let's try some of these together. And if you feel like you can't do your work so squished like this, just get some scratch paper and use a piece of scratch paper. Okay, here is our first problem. And it says, what, I'm sorry, we're on page 148, ladies and gentlemen. What is 100 more than 712? Okay, so again, we, we're pretty squished for room. So you can use separate paper if you need to. Okay, so we have our, our number is 712. That's our ones, tens, and our hundreds. So I'm gonna do my best to try and draw that right here. So I have ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay, so I have two ones, which is worth two. And I have one 10, which is just worth 10. And I have seven hundreds. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how much is that worth? Let's count them. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So this is what 712 looks like in my base 10 blocks. Okay, but they want 100 more. So they want us to add another 100. So what do we now have? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So our answer is 810 plus 2, which is 812, because I have now I have eight hundreds, still I only have one ten, and still only two ones. So what place value changed? 
are hundreds. And I count it on by 100. Okay, let's look at number two. Number two says, solve. Dry picture to defend your answer. Okay, so our number is 287, which that's our ones, tens, and our hundreds. Okay, so let's draw our, our place value chart. Even though they don't give us lots of room, we have our ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay, so how many ones do we have? Seven ones. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven ones is just worth seven. Okay, what do, how many tens do we have? We have eight tens. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, but that's not worth eight because we're going to count by ten. So we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. So eight tens is worth 80. And we have two hundreds. One, two hundreds, which is worth 100, 200. So this is what 287 looks like in base 10 blocks. Okay, what do they want us to do though? They want 287 plus another 10. They want us to add one more 10. So I don't have 80 now, what do I have? I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So our answer now, or our sum is 297. And what did we, I counted on by 10, because I added a 10. Okay, let's do one last one together, friends. It says, what is 10 more than 425? And I might use some area room down here because again, we're just getting squished here. 425, we have ones, tens, and hundreds. So I might draw down here. Okay, so how many ones do we have? We have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And five ones is worth five. How many tens do we have? We have two tens. And what is that worth? 10, 20. And I have four hundreds. Four hundreds is, looks like that. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400. Okay, so this is what 425 looks like in base 10 blocks. They want 10 more. They want 10 more, so let's add another 10. Let's come over here and add a 10. So what do we have now? Well, we have 10, 20, 30. So our sum is 435, which looks like 435. So what place ch value changed? We didn't change the hundreds, we didn't change the ones, we only changed the tens. And we counted on by 10. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you do your own, if you don't have enough room because it's too squished, just get some separate paper. Have a great day.